Welcome to Bedtime Stories from Trinity, classic stories for children with scriptural reflection for the whole family. Today's story teaches us about the second Sunday of Advent and the first chapter of Mark's Gospel. We'll be reading Sleepyhead, written by Karma Wilson and John Siegel, and read by Aaron McRae Goldsmith. Hey there, I'm Aaron McRae Goldsmith, the Youth and Families Minister at Trinity Cathedral in downtown San Jose. And today I'll be sharing with you Sleepyhead by Karma Wilson and John Segal. Sleepyhead, sleepyhead, good night, good night, my sleepyhead. Your teeth are brushed, your book is read. Go to sleep, it's time for bed. One more book, says Sleepyhead. Sleepyhead, sleepyhead, sweet dreams, sweet dreams, my sleepyhead. We've hugged our hugs, the prayers are said. Go to sleep, it's time for bed. One more hug, says Sleepyhead. Sleepyhead, sleepyhead, now close your eyes, my sleepyhead. We've kissed our kiss, your quilt is spread. Go to sleep, it's time for bed. One more kiss, says Sleepyhead. Sleepyhead, sleepyhead, the moon is high, my sleepyhead. You've drunk your drink, good night, I said. Go to sleep, it's time for bed. One more drink, says Sleepyhead. And... One more teddy, one more snuggle, one more comfy, cozy cuddle. Just one more, says Sleepyhead. I promise then I'll go to bed. One more story, said just right, one more gaze upon the night. Just one more, says Sleepyhead. I promise then I'll go to bed. One more blankly piled on, one more stretch, and one more yawn. Just one more, says Sleepyhead. I promise then I'll go to bed. Sleepyhead, sleepyhead, sleep tight, sleep tight, my sleepyhead. Tomorrow's play is just ahead. I love you so. Now rest your head. What a wonderful story about maybe preparing a little bit too much for bed. And in this week's gospel, we hear stories of the disciples preparing the way for Jesus. We see a, a wild man, John the Baptist, just in the river baptizing people and truly preparing a path. And maybe we can take a lesson from Little Bear and find some joy in this season of waiting and preparation. Maybe we, <laughs> we can't simply put off bedtime like Little Bear does, but we can certainly revel in in the steps we take to prepare this path for Jesus to come again. From the first chapter of Mark, it says, the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in the prophet Isaiah, see, I am sending my messenger ahead of you who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying out in the wilderness, prepare, the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, the one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. 
In this week's gospel, John the Baptist reminds us that when something inciting is coming, we have to take time to get ready for it. We learn how to do this, and the season of Advent is when we practice getting ready for Christmas, which we might do by decorating a tree or making gifts or singing special songs. These are all ways to get ready for celebrating Jesus, born in our midst a long time ago, and also being born in the hearts of those who are prepared for him. Elizabeth Bulwer Landis, writing for StoryPath, says, we spend time each day preparing for things. We prepare ourselves for the day, we prepare ourselves for bed, we prepare ourselves for special celebrations. During the weeks of December, we prepare ourselves for Christmas. John the Baptist is urging everyone he meets to prepare for the Lord. The Lord is coming soon and we need to be ready. In Sleepyhead, we follow the preparations for bed. The little bear keeps saying one more as bedtime comes closer and closer. We too can keep saying, I'll start preparing later, but the inevitable is going to come whether we have prepared for it or not. Christmas day will come whether we've crossed everything off on our to-do list, Jesus will come, even if we're not ready for him. Let us pray. God, getting ready is really hard work. Whether we're getting ready for bed or for school or for a special visitor, we need to take our time and do everything necessary for the new thing to happen or the new person to come. We are so grateful that you came to us as a baby in Jesus. And just like our own parents got ready to welcome us when we were born, we want to be ready to welcome you at Christmas. We trust you to be with us and teach us patience this Advent, even while we're still getting ready for you. Amen.